This is a poem about the shipwreck of the Primrose Hill, which happened off Anglesey in 1900, and what became of the men. It's called Somebody's Darling. Somebody's Darling is written in stone, for the sea took them down and swallowed their bones. They set sail Christmas Eve, conditions were fine, bound for Vancouver with a cargo of wine. But the signaller watched the glass falling. Good God, lad, it will blow hard before morning. The Primrose Hill was swept south by southwest. Her sails were in ribbons, she signalled distress. Caught in a flood tide a mile off south stack. Thirty-four set sail, but only one would come back. Somehow the Habene got alongside. She threw a line and trapped between wind and tide. The line failed and she left those desperate few forced to choose her own passengers and crew. Three masts were smashed in the first crash of waves. If the rocket line failed, no souls would be saved. She pitched, struck rock, her steel hull was shattered. Her crew washed away and the timber scattered. Douglas Brown at 15 was the youngest drowned. Twelve could not be ID'd, six were never found. She broke as the lookout clung to the mast. A Swede called Pedersen doomed to be the last. A swell took him in though forlorn of all hope. He was held by a farmer and tethered by rope. He'd have heard them in his hospital bed and been tormented by those faces of the dead. The hero farmer got his street parade. But I wonder what kind of life Pedersen made. Did he make a fortune and travel far? Was he riddled with guilt, alone at the bar? The town raised funds for the men that they found for memorial stones and plaques on sacred ground. Somebody's darling is written in those stones. For the sea took them down and swallowed their bones.